हेलो गुड इवनिंग गुड इवनिंग एवरीबारी Hey, good evening, Matthias. How are you? Very well, teacher. How was your so, day? So, mm, so, so, teacher. Really? Why? Yeah, the the world difficult. Uh, yes. It was a difficult day today. Yes. Ooh. Yes. Yes. Mm, mm, I'm a sick or un poco. Me siento un poco enfermo. Ah, really? Mm -hmm. You got flu or something like that? Como con calentura, un malestar en la garganta. Ah. Coronavirus otra vez. Eh? <laughs> <laughs> ¿Ya le dio a usted eso? Repite sí, bien ya. Ah. Mm -hmm. Repeat, please. <risa> ah, entonces yo pensé que no le había dado. Mm, o sea, no, no era 100% seguro de que era eso, ¿verdad? Pero había perdido paladar y todo esto. Pero ahora no sé. Como, <risa> sí, que, es. como que, a ver, no, como que me siento incómodo. <risa> uh. uh -huh. Well. Esperemos entonces que no sea eso. Yeah, because I guess, I guess that's, that, that's very difficult. Uh, Maritza went through that, right, Maritza? Hi, good evening. Good evening. Ella estuvo así, creo que sí. La pasó Ella bastante tiene mal. Espacio. Tengo secuelas. Really? Yeah, right. Sí. Y todavía sí, hay muchos que tienen secuelas a largo plazo. Yes. Sí. Yo lo, lo he notado porque estoy sufriendo de mucha fatiga. Ah. Mucha fatiga y a veces me da pena porque me agarra como de bostezar a bostezar y nunca he sido así, ¿verdad? Ajá. Entonces da la impresión como que la otra persona me aburre y no es así, ¿verdad? Pero es algo que ya desde las 10 de la mañana... Ya empiezo uh -huh. con eso después del COVID. ¿Really? Sí. Pero ¿No es azúcar? No, ya no, ya me chequeé todo. No, esa es una secuela que me quedé. Es que el mes pasado estuve con COVID. Ah, pues sí, eso es. El... No, ya me chequeé todo, todo para ver. Pero no estoy bien, son secuelas que me han quedado. Sí, ah. sí. Así pasa. Ajá. Ajá. Así como la chikungunya. Esa. Todavía tengo secuelas en los dedos. Ah, really? How many sí. times do you suffer that? ¿Cuántas veces sufrí eso? Uh, hace años sufrí eso, pero cuando recién empezaba dándole a toda la gente. Ahí fue donde me fui en la cola. En el 2013 fue. Ajá, cabal. Well. Que ni levantarme de la cama podía. Sí, a veces fue. No lo mataba uno, pero. Era difícil. No, a, mí, no, a, mí eso, a mí eso solo me dio, ya de último, yo cuando estaba saliendo todo esto, solo me dio la, como tipo, la alergia que da un poquito y eso fue todo. Ah. Y yo que en ese entonces tenía una semana, había estado sin trabajo y esa vez tenía una semana de estar trabajando y me da eso. Y dije, ah, yeah. en septiembre, dije yo con, con, la, con, con, la, con el asueto del 15, me recupero porque decían que eran tres días, no, pues, me eché 15 días incapacitada. <risa> sí, después solo llegué a traer los lentes y, y el suéter. No, 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 no. Sí, es sí. bastante, bastante. 
Yo Antes estaba de trabajando, pero solo, solo dos días que trabajé nomás. De, ya no aguanté. Es más que como yo utilizo las manos para emparejar papel, ¿verdad? Ajá. Entonces no podía emparejar el papel. <ríe> y sin poder emparejar el papel, ¿cómo meto el papel en la máquina? Imposible. Ajá. Imposible. Ajá. Así es que me, me, me fui al seguro, me capacitaron siete días. <risa> Ay, no, es que eso sí es, es un tanto complicado. Ya, yeah, I mean, a little bit complicated. Yeah. Yeah, a mí me dio, pero pasé así como en, en cama como por tres días. Tres días. Yeah, I mean, that's horrible. Y lo que más... Es tres días. Ya, yeah, I mean, and, and the worst thing is that you cannot even stand up. Yo, a ver, yo mm. esos tres, por dos días no podía ni pararme. Ajá, ya, como dos días ya ni para Sí, tenían que levantarme para, para realmente. Ah, este, gracias ya. a Dios, usted ahí tenía ayuda. Yo <ríe> prácticamente estaba solo ahí. Yo estaba solo en ese entonces, podría decir, porque no tenía ayuda. de que Pasé tres días que no pude ni comer. Porque ¿Sale? como, sí, porque como no, no, no. ¿Cómo fue? O sea, no podía vivía, salir. Vivía, vivía solo. Entonces, este, fue horrible. Horrible, horrible, horrible. Yo, a ver si, si iba a poder sobrevivir más tiempo, decía yo, porque sí. Y mi mamá lejos, mi hermano lejos, todos los familiares lejos, entonces era bien difícil para mí. Pues, sí. No, pero, sí. y, y ustedes así en, nunca han tenido una enfermedad de niños en adultos, hoy adultos. ¿Cómo así? No. 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 Yo ah. quiero ver. Mi no hija tenía tres o cuatro meses y le dio varicela a la grande, le dio a la chiquita y a mí y no me había dado y me dio a mí. Ah, no, pero es, que, pero es que un, esa... mes embaraz... un, mes, un mes incapacitada. Ya, yeah, pero es que la varicela Hola. le da a, a toda edad, eso sí, eso sí, que es entre, bueno, más, entre más mayor esté, más fuerte es. Más fuerte pega. Tremendo. Yes. No, pero yes, es que esas son yes, enfermedades yes. de niños. <risa> Ojo la conjuntivitis de pispelos. <risa> yeah, I, no, I, mean, I remember. Recuerdo que para el 2017, creo, fue que acá en Oriente, no sé si en todo el país fue, pero acá en Oriente hubo un brote de conjuntivitis horrible. Horrible, sí, yo yeah. vi la noticia. Y a mí me gustó toda la gente. Todo, todo, todo. Sí, todo que por cierto, había, decían, de, de, decían de que era porque había entrado arena de, del, del Sahara, parece ah, que decían ah, que a lo mejor ah. por eso era. Sí. <risa> Probablemente eso ha sido y después nos hicimos inmunes. Oh, bueno. Horrible <risa> eso. Ya, yeah, no, me it was horrible. Sí. Para ese tiempo me acuerdo que estaba trabajando en un colegio y, y de repente ya se empezaban los niños así como con lentes y todo. Ah, ya trae con los tíos, tíos, tíos. It was horrible, it was horrible. Pero menos mal, a mí, bueno, a mí no me dio a pesar de que tuve contacto con tanto estudiante. Ya le había dado. Eso, eso, eso como que se hace inmune uno con tantas veces que le da cuando uno está. Pequeño. Ajá, ajá. Y a mí, verdad, pues, es cierto. De cierto modo, a veces suele, sí. ajá, suele suceder. Pero, anyways, no, no logramos salir de eso. <ríe> I remember, but that, that time, creo que por esa misma época fue cuando hubo un eclipse, a eso del mediodía, más o menos. Y es es kind of cool. All right, let me see. Hey, very few people are getting connected to this. Hmm. Hey, justo ahora que. Que, que hay que faltar menos, se están conectando tarde los demás. Probably es porque es de tráfico. Supongo que va a ser por el tráfico. Haciendo cola por días, el Friday. Friday. Ah, ya yeah, es true. Today es que is sí, la... Black Friday. Tomorrow. Tomorrow, actually. Oh, okay. Ya, yeah, men. Oh, yes. Están Tomorrow. haciendo cola. <laughs> Ah, no. ah, sí, Aquí en el Salvador, en el Salvador, en el Salvador, el Salvador es como eso. ¿Cómo? Somos, ¿Cómo? Bien, somos bien especiales acá. Acá, si, si un par de zapatos cuesta 50, día regular, justo antes de llegar noviembre o ya para llegar noviembre, le suben a 75 y para el Black Friday está 50. 
25 dólares Ajá, de rebaja. Ya, <risa> y ahí va la mala. <risa> ya, men, ya, sí, como que, uy, qué ofertón. Ya, men, en el goro, vaya. Ya, men, es, it's not like in other countries, que hay, ah, sí, de verdad será eso. O sea, todo se pone el 50. Ahorita es chivo, ahorita es chivo jugo, comprar juegos en línea. Ah, sí. ¿Sale? Ah, ya, yeah, porque, I mean, since they se sell... Ajá, sí. Muy barato, en la PlayStation. De, 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 de PlayStation. Ah, cool, cool. Cool. Talking about the PlayStation, I got one in the way and I haven't used it for about nine months. <laughs> But anyways, so let's see. Probably, uh, during the time it's going to be getting connected. Okay, uh, before starting, just let me load the, the attendance list. And we're gonna be starting with uh, the topic that we got for tonight. Uh, from yesterday, we got a previous a previous conversation that we didn't finish, right? We didn't finish and uh, I'm just going to load up that one because we need to finish that uh presentation and the conversation was it in one second relating is getting lower okay good let's start with the attendance list and then we're gonna uh start the class with with the conversation that we were left yesterday just give me one second uh, alfredo alexander no, here, right. I'm in the chat. Person, person in the chat. Person, listen. Ah, okay. Let's see. I am in this there. Okay, good. Let me see. Amilcar Cañengues. Hey, Amilcar, is that this is the, the second day that Amilcar is not getting connected? Mm. Car <laughs> Carlos <laughs> Gualberto. Carlos Carlos Ayude Creo que se frizó <laughs> Ah, but he was there Domingo Alexander Present Ah, ok, good Ever de Jesús Present teacher Ah, ok, great Fátima Alejandra Present Good evening. Ah, good evening. Okay, you're there. Ah, uh, Hilmar Cruz. Nah, ahora sí no lo logró Hilmar. Jonathan Alexander. Jonathan, are you there? <coughs> ah, okay. Yeah, he's there. Okay, Jorge Elvir. No es here. José Matías. Here. I'm here. Ok. Carla Benacer. Hoy el tal. Present. Ok, great. Marco David. Carla Benacer y esto no es gallo. Present. <laughs> ok, good. Let's see. Maritza Cira. Present, teacher. Ok. Marlon Alberto. Ok, good. Let me see. Mauricio Alexander. This is Mauricio. All right. All right. Romeo Alexis. Ok, good. Rosa del Carmen. No, she's not here yet. Vanessa Odet. Okay, <coughs> connected. William Eduardo. I'm here tonight. Ah, okay. How do you feel, man? ¿Cómo sigue? Yeah, mejorando, teacher. Hoy sí, con todos los poderes. Eso. Okay, <coughs> good. Jasmine Melanie. Yes, and good evening. Good evening. Okay, good. Let's see, Jennifer Noemi. Present. Ah, okay, good. Let me check. This is not there. Stephanie Lisette. 
that's Stefan is not here. And then we've got William Alberto. Yes, sir. Ah, okay, great. All right, if you remember people, last class we were practicing a short conversation related to the topic that we were discussing yesterday, right? Uh, before starting this, because I do, we really need to practice this. Um, what was the topic? What do we remember from the topic that we were practicing yesterday? What do you remember about it? Use the shoulder. How oh, to use shoes. Sure. Ah, okay. And when do we use shoes? Or what do we use shoes for? Recommendation. 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 Ah, okay. Very good. Especially for recommendations, right? Or when we give Action. advice. Okay, or when we give advice, right? About some actions. Okay, very good. Do you remember the structure? Where is located should into a sentence? Subject. Ah, okay, plus, for that we got a subject. Plus. Plus. Uh -huh. Should. Okay, plus should. Uh -huh. Plus Oops. verb. Okay. Main verb. Uh, uh, must case. complement. Okay, in that case, plus complement. All right, good. Uh -huh. So let's remember that when we use true, basically, uh, it's when we give a, or provide a recommendation about something, right? For example, if I give a recommendation for the people who got the cameras off, right? You should turn on your cameras. So in that case, what I'm giving is just a recommendation, right? About something to do. So in that case, it's, it's, it's just a way to say that something is recommendable to do, right? In that case is when we use should. <laughs> Recordemos que should es un verbo auxiliar puramente, okay? Should no actúa como un verbo principal en ningún aspecto o en ninguna regla gramatical should actuará como verbo principal. All the time, all the time, necesita un verbo adicional que funcione como verbo principal para poder denotar un significado. Just keep that on mind, right? Es como todo verbo modal o modal verb in English, right? ¿Cuáles son los modal verbs más comunes que ustedes conocen? Do you remember them? Can. All right, we got can. Uh -huh. Cool. Just, cool. Give me, just give me, just give me, uh -huh. just give me here. I'm going to forget something here. All right, let's write them down in here. We've got, okay, should, can, can. would you mind, could, actually, Do. actually, actually, could you mind represents the cool, cool. Cool, right? Cool. Ah, gold, right? That's another one. <coughs> gold. What else? Will. No. Okay. Will. What? Yes. Uh -huh. Will. Do it us. Ah? Do it us. Eh, no, ya do and does no pertenecen a esa clasificación. Eso porque, no por, ¿y cómo, cómo identificarlo? Porque do usted lo puede usar como verbo principal, como I do the homework. Y estos, estos meramente son auxiliares nada más. Okay. Son auxiliares. That's correct. <coughs> For example, we got true, can, cool, will, will. Uh -huh. Deal y did. Eh, deal es el pasado de do. Yes. Y cuando estamos, teacher, cuando estamos there, y cuando estamos ocupando el there is. Eh, in that case, en, en ese caso, estamos usando el verbo to be. Con ah, la, okay. con la, ajá. Uh -huh. Con un segregado que en este caso es there. Ok. Uh -huh. yes. Y en estos verbos no entra el have como auxiliar. Eh, en este caso actúa mm. pero como un semi-modal verb. Vaya, mm. estos son como los modal verbs más, más puros, por así decirlo. Vaya, por ejemplo, mm. tenemos para expresar obligación, tenemos más. Do you remember this one? ¿Recuerdan este? Uh -huh. No recuerdo, si más lo recuerdo, fue en módulo 2 que se dio el uso de más. Uh, yeah, I think it was module number 2. <coughs> All right, we got 
show, esto sí no se ha visto. El show es una representación también de will para expresar futuro. Ah, teacher. Eh, 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 me acuerdo de un Gona. Es, eh, ¿Cuál era Gona? No, Gona. Listen, listen. Go es una forma, right? Go. Uh -huh. Gona. Es a Gona. Gona. Ok, básicamente es. No. Listen. En este caso, básicamente, Gona es una manera informal de decir going to. Mm. Simplemente es una manera informal que tenemos de poder decir going to. Para al igual que Guana, ¿verdad? Al igual que Guana. Right? Mm. Gona es una combinación para decir go to. Ok. El que me mencionaban, Guana. Es simplemente uh -huh. want to. Ok. Bueno, okay. es ir para o ir. Ajá, exacto. Ajá. Ir a. Y uh -huh. es. De querer. I wanna go to the beach. Quiero ir a la playa. Me... Ajá, entonces okay. eso sí son, son frases informales. Ajá. Oh, son frases informales. Entonces tenemos acá, let's see. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Yeah, we got this one. Estos son los más comunes. Look. Estos son los monitors comunes que tenemos. Right. Y el may. Ah, we got another one. Eh, solo que ese es bien. Ajá. Para may. Y hay otro. May. ¿Se acuerdan de este? <risa> No. Might. Yeah. Might. Podría. Ajá. Eh, eh, ya saliendo de este tema, te llegaría a hacer una consulta. Ajá, ¿qué onda? Eh, para el módulo intermedio, teacher, siempre sería en los mismos horarios de 8 a 10 de la noche. Yes. Yes, ok. Yeah. Sí, es que, es que estaba viendo en la ficha de datos de principiantes. Este, ahí aparece abajo un cuadrito en el que dice in, inglés solo el intermedio. Solo, solo aparece el módulo 1, no aparece de ahí del módulo 2, 3, 4, 5 y 6. ¿El intermedio? Ajá. No, no sí, tenía sí. esa duda. No, sí, no, claro. sí, 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 es lo mismo. ¿Eh? Ahí okay. continúa lo mismo. Okay, mm -hmm. thank you. No problem in that case. Okay, good. So ba basically, these ones are like the, the most common model words that we know, right? Entonces, estos son los más comunes que tenemos, okay? Model words, se llaman. Give me a second. I'm going to write them down here. Model verbs. Like okay. this. Model verbs. Verbos modales. Right? Recuerden, todos ellos todos, todos, todos. Ellos son verbos auxiliares. ¿Ok? <coughs> verbos que no se modifican en tercera persona. They don't, don't they, they are not modified in third person. Remember that. Okay. Right, ¿Qué significa good. will, teacher? Will is an structure to make the future. Este will es para crear futuro. No es un verbo. ¿Ah? No es un verbo. Es un no. verbo auxiliar. Pero, pero... No tiene traducción. Will? No tiene traducción. Oh. Simplemente unido con otro verbo, le expresa futuro. futuro. Okay. Will go, I will go, iré. Ajá. Y no se puede decir go will. No. Siempre va primero el will y después el verbo. Claro que sí, primero el auxiliar okay. y después... Ok. Le. Sí. Ok, Okay, perfect. So I'm gonna I'm gonna eliminate this thing. Give me one second, and I'm gonna put this the one that we were about to practice. Okay, if you remember, this was the the conversation that we were practicing yesterday, and it was missing, you know, like the practice in here, right? In here. What are we gonna do with this? Listen, I'm gonna read. 
I'm going to read the conversation only one time, just for you to recall the vocabulary, and we're going to practice, okay, in here, the conversation before going up to the main topic that we are going to have today. So just give me one Good evening. Good evening. Good evening, Mr. All right, good. So let's just start with that. Let's just start. Uh, let's remember the conversation was between Bruno and Max, right? And it says, listen, hey, Max, look, I want to know what policies you have in your company. How are you, Bruno? I mean, in that case, it's Bruno, no Max, remember? Well, there are many policies in my company. For example, employees should wear a uniform always. Okay, and Bruno says, well, in my company, you shouldn't be late. If you do this, you receive a warning. And should you notify your superiors if you do something wrong? Yes, you should. I see. Another policy we have at my work is the use of drugs. Nobody should do drugs. We also have that policy in my work too. You shouldn't do it. I think so too. I think so too. So you see, in that case, you just recall uh, the vocabulary that yesterday we were practicing. Now, what do I really want? I want to listen to you people do it in context, okay? And how am I going to do it? I'm going to do it by creating my own personal pairs. And in this case, I want Marco to help me out and Domingo is going to help Marco. All right. So Marco is going to be Bruno and Max is going to take the role of Domingo. Right. Hey, Max. Look, I want to know what policy policies mm -hmm. you have in your company. We are you, Bruno. Will there are many policies what in my pardon? Policies policies, uh -huh. policies in my company. For example, employees sure we are only for and wives. Always. All right. Always. Well, well, in my company, you shouldn't be late. If you do this, you will receive a warning. A warning. Receive a warning. Okay. And sure you notify your superiors is you do something wrong. Something wrong. Uh, something wrong. Yes, you should. I see another policy we have in my world is the use of drug. drugs. 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 Uh -huh. Not nobody. Not, nobody. Nobody should do wrong. Drugs. Okay. There drugs. Go. We also have that policy in my work too. Policy. You shouldn't do it. Uh, it is so too. All right. I think. I think so, so too. too. So too. All right. So too. So too. Ah, okay. Very good. So thank you, Marco, and thank you, Domingo. You did it excellent. Now, Maritza, help me out with Ever. Maritza, be Bruno, and Ever is going to be Max. Hey, Max. Look, I want to know what policies you have in your company. How are you, Bruno? Well, there are many policies in my company. For example, employees should wear a uniform always. Well, 
in my company, you shouldn't be late. If you do this, you receive a warning. And should you notify your superiors? No. And, you, and should you notify your superiors okay. if you do something wrong? Yes, you should. I see. Another policy we have at men in my works is the use of, of drugs. Nobody should do drugs. We also have that policy in my work. In my work too. You shouldn't do it. I think so too. All right. Very good. Thank you, Everett Maritza. You did it excellent. Now, uh, Jonathan, help me out. Carla, are you there? <clears throat> And uh, Carla, Carla is, is opening the door or something. No, but she's coming. She's coming. <laughs> yeah, yeah, Jonathan. Carla, are you there? <laughs> yes, teacher. Valeo la corrida, entonces. Okay, Jonathan. I want you to be uh, Bruno and Max. It's going to be Carla. I want to I want to know what policy you have in your company. How are you, Max? Bruno. Well, there are many pol policies in my company. For example, employees should wear a uniform always. Jonathan? In my company, you should use. Ah, uh, give me a second, Jonathan. Ah, uh, uh, a pair. Ah, uh, no. Okay. Yeah, yeah. Eh, Repita otra vez, Jonathan, uh, uh, because sorry. you got you got frozen. Yeah. Uh -huh. Okay. Okay. Well, in my company, you should use like if you do this, you receive a warning. Very good. And so you notify your superior if you do something wrong. Yes, you I see another policy we have at my work is the use of drugs. Nobody should do drugs. We don't have that you shouldn't do it. I think you too. Okay, very good. Thank you, Jonathan, and thank you, Carla. You did it excellent. All right, Fatima, help me out. You're going to be uh, Bruno and uh, Jorge. It's going to be Max. Hey, Jorge. <laughs> Esos son como un, un, un galón de, de, de jugo. <laughs> 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 okay. It's All my right. baby. Ah, okay. It's a, it's a little baby, and another one is more bigger. Yes. Bigger? Really? Okay. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> Good, okay. Man. The practice with? With Fatima. Fatima is going to start. Okay. Hello, Fatima. Hey, hola. Hey, Max. Look. I want to know that policies you have in your company. How are you, Max? Yes, yes, Bruno. Okay. Yes, Bruno. Bruno, oh, Bruno, actually. How are you, Bruno? Well, there are many policies in my company. Policies? Policies, sorry, in my company. For example, employees shouldn't wear a uniform always. Well, in my company, you shouldn't be late. If you do this, you receive a warning. Um, should you notify your superiors, superiors if you don't something wrong? Yes, you should. I see. I Another see. policy. Oh, we have at my work is the use of drugs. 
nobody's sure the truth. Good, Rosa. Nice. <laughs> <laughs> I think my boss changed it. Oh my god. Sorry, no, sorry. Man, I was I was I, I was getting that too. Yo pensé así como que, hey, de cuando acá ahora la voz. Wow. <laughs> no, really? Nice. Hey. No, no problem. Siento, es que como no escuché cuando el teacher la dijo, entonces estoy practicando ahí en el Ah, okay. Nice. Okay. 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 No okay. Problem. It's a good. Continue. Okay. Pero continue. Continue. Sorry. Oh, thank you so much. <laughs> all right, I all right. see another policy we have at my work. If they use a drug, nobody should do drugs. We also have that policy in my work too. You shouldn't do it. I think so too. Okay, very good. Thank you, Fatima. Thank you, Jorge. You did it excellent. All right. Nice. Cheers, man. Cheers. All right, Matias, help me out with Amilcar. Matias <coughs> is going to be uh, Bruno, and um, Amilcar is going to be Max. Hey, hey mate. Excuse me. Hey, Max. Look, I want to know what policies you have in your company? How are you, Bruno? Well, there are many policies in my company. For example, employees should wear a uniform always. Well, in my company, you shouldn't be late. If you do this, you receive a warning. And should you not if your superior if you do something wrong? Yes, you should. I see. Another policy we have at my work is the use of drugs. Nobody should do drugs. We also have that policy. Policy in my work too. You shouldn't do it I think so too. Ah, okay, very good. There you go, people. Okay. Now, <laughs> good evening. Good evening, Helmer. I have many problems in my work. Ah, okay, man. No problem. All right. The good thing is that you're here. Okay. Ah, uh, so thank you, Matias and Amilcar. Hey, by the way, Amilcar, good to see you, man. <clears throat> I thought you were thank not you, connected, teacher. getting connected. <laughs> Okay, now, Jennifer, don't be sleepy. Wake up. It's your turn, right? So it's going to be Bruno and Romeo is going to be Max. Okay. Hey, Max, okay. Luke, I want to know what policies you have in your company. In your company. How are you, Bruno? Will they are many policies in my company? For example, employees should wear uniform always. Well, in my company, you shouldn't be late. If you do this, you receive a, a warning. And should you notify your superiors if you do something wrong? Yes, you should. I see. Another policy we we have at my world is the use of drones. Nobody nobody should do drones. We also have that a policy in my work too. You shouldn't do it. I think so too. Okay, very good. So thank you, Jennifer. And uh, Romeo. Now oh. let me see who has got here. Wait a minute. Okay. Uh now we're gonna be practicing Jasmine and uh, Hilmer. Jasmine, you're gonna be taking the role of uh, Bruno and Hilmer Max one. Okay. Okay. Hi. Hey Max. Look. I want to know what policies 
do you have in your company? How are you, Max? Well, there are many policies in my company. For example, employees should wear a uniform always. Well, in my company, to learn, we learn if you do this, you receive, receive a warning. And sure, you notify your superior if you do something wrong. Yes, you should. I see another policy we have at my work is the use of drugs. Nobody should do drugs. We we also have have that policy in my work too. You should then do it. I think so too. Thank ah, okay, very good. Thank you, Jasmine and Hilmar. Now, Vanessa, <clears throat> help me out with Carlos. <clears throat> right, Vanessa, I want you to be uh, Bruno, and Carlos is going to take the role of Max. Okay. Hey, Max, look, I want to know what policies you have in your company. Who are you, Bruno? Well, there are many policies in my company. For example, employees should wear a, a uniform always. Well, in my company, you shouldn't be late. If, do, if you do this, you receive a warning. And should you notify your superior if you do something wrong? Yes, you should. I see. Another policy we have at my work is the use the use of drugs. Nobody should do drugs. We also have the policy in my work too. You shouldn't do it. I think so too. Okay, very good. Thank you, Carlos and Vanessa. You did a great. Uh, William Rodriguez. It's going to help me out with William Eduardo. Okay. okay. All right. <laughs> Rodriguez, you're going to be taking the role of Bruno. And Eduardo, Max. Okay. Hey, Max. Look, I want to know what police you had in your company. How are you, Bruno? Well, there are many policies in my company. For example, employees should wear a uniform always. Well, in my company, you shouldn't be late. If you do this, you receive a warning. And should you notify your superiors if you do something wrong? Yes, should do. I see. Another policy we have at my work is the use of drugs. Nobody should do drugs. We also had the policy in my work too. You shouldn't do it. I think so too. Okay, very good. Thank you to both Williams. <laughs> All right, uh, let's see. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Rosa, I am in Rosa has not participated. Uh, Marlon, uh, is it okay with the with the audio now? Or do you continue yes, having okay. okay. the microphone it works well? Very good. So Rosa, you're gonna practice with Marlon. Okay. All right, let's start, Rosa. And then Marlon. Hey Max, look, I want to know that Polly you have in your company? I work, Bruno. Well, there are many policies in my company. For example, employees should wear a uniform always. Well, in my company, you shouldn't be late. If you do, this you recite a warning. Mm -hmm. And should you notify your superiors if you do something wrong? Yes, you should. I see. Another policy we have at my work is the use of drugs. 
nobody shielded roads. We also have that police in my work too. Mm -hmm. You children do it. I too. I think so too. Okay, thank you. To you both, Rosa and Marlon. Now we're gonna have the last one. Uh, Mauricio, are you there? Mr. Mahano, are you there? Hmm. I think he's not there. Okay. All right, if he's not there, uh, let's continue, people, for with the things that we got for tonight. Listen up. Right after practicing this short conversation, we're going to go straight and do another practice. But this practice is going to be related to a different topic, the topic that we are going to be covering the rest of the class. And this one is going to be like a way easy for you because it's something that you have practiced a lot in the past modules. So people, I want you to go to page 49. Go to the page 49 and you will see this. You will see this, all right. Now, we have finished the uses of should, and now let's start with the uses of could, right? Do you remember, people, when do we use could? Or what do we use could for? Just, you know, like, like bringing back information from the previous modules, right? Because this topic, we were discussing about this topic last module and in module number three. Also, we got two modules in the past working with cool. Now, what do you remember from cool? When do we use cool? Podría. Ah, okay. As a translation, that, that's, the, that's the correct translation, right? Podría. Okay, but the uses of cool, when do we use cool? Do you really remember them? Need to polite. say a polite words or polite sentences. Ah, okay. Uh -huh. we, we can use it to, 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 to ask or, or, or say polite sentences. Very good. For, for it's more possible. polite way, teacher. All right. First, for uh, possible situation, teacher, or possible action. Okay, what you mean, Jennifer, is like for possibilities, right? <laughs> okay, that's a general word. Ah, yeah, I mean, that's, that's actually, that's the main use that we're going to be practicing today for possibilities. Thank you, Jennifer. Amilcar, what did you say? Is is more polite way. Aha, uh -huh, yeah, I mean, another one. Yeah, when we use school, we're talking in a very polite way also. Good. I need just one more participation, one opinion about this, this model verb. For require polite. For polite requests, that's what you mean? Yes. Ah, okay, very yes. good. Uh huh. Yeah, basically, right? We will request for something or we request something. Okay, very good. What are we gonna do? Listen. Let's practice first the conversation because I need to know how to deal with this and you know already base, uh, you have a base on this topic. Let's practice the conversation, focus on the conversation first because I don't really know what to, you know, like get, get fluency on this. So I'm gonna send you to, to, to work in this. Then we're going to explain the grammar part. And at the end, we're gonna do a series of exercises here in the manual, okay? So this is pretty much what we're gonna be doing. So let's start. Let's with this. I'm gonna send you to the breakout rooms for a moment just to practice. And then when we come back, we're gonna continue with this. It says, listen to the teacher, read the conversation, it says, and then practice with a partner. That's what we got I need to do right after I finish the practice. This is a conversation between Hank and Julie. Listen, and also appears Betty. But uh, let's put Betty in like, 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 you know, like, like a continuation of the conversation, right? It says, Hank, good morning, ladies. Good morning, ladies. 
How are you doing today? How are you doing today? It says Julie. Hello, Hank. I am okay. Hello, Hank. I am okay. But Betty or Betty is not. Okay? But Betty is not. It says Hank. Really? What's wrong, Betty? It says, really? What's wrong, Betty? It says Betty. Well, my mother is sick. Well, my mother is sick. And my sister can't go see her tomorrow. And my sister can't go see her tomorrow. It says Hank. I am sorry to hear that. I am sorry to hear that. Could you ask for permission? I mean, you could ask for permission. In that case, we're including the, uh, the, the main, the main uh, auxiliary. You could ask for permission. It says, Julie, he is right. He is right. You could go to HR or Human Resources Department and request a form. Listen up. You could go to HR Department and request a form. He says, Julie, could I mention the reason for the permission? Could I mention the reason for the permission? And he says, Hank, yes, absolutely. Yes. Absolutely. All right, people. Uh, I know this conversation is pretty easy for you, but it's my, my, my duty to, to ask. Do we have any question with the vocabulary over there? The pronunciation of any word that might be unknown for you? Do we understand this part? Here. Huh? I'm sorry to hear. Here. Here. Hear, hear, hear. That. Nah, that's, that's like, I'm sorry to hear that. Hear. Escucha eso. Ah, lamento escuchar eso. I'm Teacher, hear, hear es solo escuchar entonces, no? no. Yes, yes. Hear es escuchar. Ajá, Marco. Hear sin H. Oreja, mean? oreja. Uh, pero sin H es oreja y... Con H es el verbo. Y con una T al final, tierra. <laughs> <laughs> yes. <laughs> yeah, all right. Yeah. Y, y con una yeah, you, you, marca de zapato, Heartland. Yo no, y, y también hair, casi, uh -huh, casi yo pensaba uh -huh. que era corazón. Here. ¿Cómo se dice corazón, Tichan? With T. ¿Ah? With T. Her. Agréguele T al final. Va, va Her. que sí, va. Solo eso, ¿eh? Va. Ajá. Ajá. Casi, casi, casi. Yo pensé que era corazón. Yes. It's like Tichan, in, in this case, in this case, what is HR? Human Resources. Recursos humanos. Recursos sí. humanos. That's HR. Human mm -hmm. resources. Human resource. resource. Yes. Any other question? Request. Request. Solicitar. Yeah. Solicitar algo. Pedir algo. That's request. Mm -hmm. Yes. Okay, something else? Or are we okay with this now? Uh, okay, good. All right, so it means we're okay. okay. Good, sí, miren Jennifer levantando las manos diciendo, yes, okay, right, cool. All Me despertó, right. teacher. Le, 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 estaba... De verdad estaba cerrando los ojos y usted me dijo participe. Me, me desperté. <risa> ya, miño. Ya estaba poniendo ahí los ojos medio doblados, así que dije no. 
o se está durmiendo o está haciendo algún ritual. Pero no, no es la hora. Que... <risa> ok, no, I'm just kidding. Ok, good. Let's continue. What I'm going to do right now, I'm going to send you to work in pairs. I need you to practice this conversation for about five minutes. When we come back in here, we're going to repeat the conversation. And at the end, we're going to explain a little bit about the grammar uh, with the uses of pull, something that you already know. And then we're going to do some activities, okay? Just just for you to complete this. Pass attend? Huh? Yeah, I'm going to pass the attendance, actually, uh, before you go to practice. Okay. Uh -huh. That's what we are going to be doing. Just give me one second. I'm going to pass it before going up there to practice. Uh, Alfredo is working right. Amil Carcañengues. Present. Good. Carlos Gualberto. Carlos. Where is Carlos? Oh, okay. Domingo Alexander. ¿Cómo toman? Trece. Good. Ever de Jesús. Present. Okay, good. Fátima Alejandra. Present. Okay. Helmar Cruz. Present. Yeah, we good. Jonathan Alexander. Present. Okay, good. Jorge Elvir. Present. Good. Jose Matias. I'm here. Nice. Carla Benazir. Present teacher. Okay, very great. Teacher, Marco David. Ca Carlos Gualberto present in the chat. Present. Ah, okay, good. Thank you for telling me. Nice. Okay, uh, Marit Salcida. Present teacher. Ah, okay, good. Marlon Alberto. Present. Good. Thank you. Let me check. Mauricio Alexander. Is in the chat. Present right? in the chat. Ah, okay. Thank you for telling me. Romeo Alexis. Present. Okay, good. Rosa del Carmen. Present. Okay, great. Vanessa Odette. Present. Okay. William Eduardo. Present. Good. Jasmine Melanie. Present. Mm. Very good. Jennifer Noemi. Present. And, okay. Good. Let me see. Stephanie Lisset. She's not here yet, right? Okay. And the last one, William Alberto. Present. Okay, great. Let me see how many oyentes do I have in here right now? We've got Mauricio. Mauricio, uh, definitely you cannot practice right now. I guess no. Okay. And uh, William, you, you can practice, right? Because in that way, I can include you. William Eduardo. Yes, teacher. Perfect. Okay. Let me check. Well, and Alfredo is already there. Okay, just, just my hand. Then. Okay. Give me one second. I need to do some, some fixings in here. Because Alfredo has to go to number one. Mahana. Give me one second, please.
Okay, people, let's go to practice uh, for a couple of seconds, of minutes, and then we're going to come back in here, right? We've got to do it. Gilmar, are you there? Ah, okay. Me alegra mucho. We Bien. start. Okay. I am Ham and you. You like? Julie. Uh, Julie. Julie, Julie, yes. Good morning, ladies. How are you? How are you doing today? Hello, Han. I'm okay, but very not. Really? What's wrong, Betty? Well, my mother is sick and my sister can go see her tomorrow. tomorrow. I'm sorry to hear that. You could ask for permission? He's right. You could go go to HR department and request a form. Could I mention her tomorrow? I am sorry to hear that you call ask for permission. He is right. You call go to HR department and request a form. Call, call, I may, 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 to me, I may, I may, I may, I may, uh, I may, I call, I may, the reason, the reason, the reason for the permission, for the permission, permission, for the permission. Yes, absolutely. Okay. All right. Let's switch now. Listen, <laughs> If you if you if you Fatima start as has Hank and Domingo as Yuli, right? Mm -hmm. Domingo start, you continue, then Domingo, then you, then Domingo, and then you continue. Uh -huh. But I listen guess. up. That case Yuli is uh, actually uh, I think I think it's, 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 Ajá, ajá. Ah, que está vete en la tercera persona. Ajá. Por eso. Mm -hmm. Bueno, inicio yo entonces. Yes. Inicio. Good morning, ladies. How are you doing today? Hello, ha. I am okay. But, very, but Betty is not. Really? What's wrong, Betty? Well, my brother, my mother is six, and my sister come go see her tomorrow. Go see her tomorrow. I'm sorry to hear that. Do you call us for permission? He is right. You call, go to HR department and request the Uh, beginner. Good morning, ladies. How are you doing today? Hello, Hank. 
I am okay, but Barry is not. Really? What's wrong, Betty? Well, my mother is sick and my sister can't go see her tomorrow. Go ask for them. Go, I mentioned the reason for the permission. Yes, absolutely. Okay. Good. Good morning, ladies. How are you doing today? Really? What's wrong, Betty? I'm sorry to hear that. You go ask for permission. The humor. <laughs> He is right. You could go to human resource department and request a form. Did I mention the reason for the permission? Yes, absolutely. Good morning, ladies. How are you doing today? Hello, huh? I am okay, but Barry is not. Really? What's wrong, Barry? Well, my mother is sick and my sister can go see her tomorrow. I am sorry now. No. I am sorry to hear to hear that you could ask for permission. He's right. You could go to human resource department and request a form. Cool. I might tell the reason for the permission. Yes, absolutely. Wow. Good morning, ladies. How are you doing today? Hello, Han. I am okay, but very. You again. Good morning, ladies. How are you doing today? Hello, Ham. I am okay, but Betty is not. Really? What's from Betty? Well, my mother is sick, and my sister can go see her tomorrow. I am sorry to hear that you could ask for permission. Yes, right. You could go to human resource department and request a form. Could I mention, could I mention the reason for the permission? Yes, absolutely. I am okay, but Betty is not. Really? What's wrong, Betty? Well, my mother is six and my sister can go, can go see her tomorrow. Can go? Can go, can go. Can go, ah, okay. Can go see her tomorrow. I'm sorry to hear, to hear that. You could ask for permission. Yeah, yes, absolutely. Good morning, ladies. How are you today? Hello, Hank. I am okay, but Betty is not. Um, really? Really? What's wrong, Betty? Well, my mother. <laughs> Teacher, ya practicamos. Hello. Porque Hello. Está, ella no aguanta, Yasmin. Lo sueño, Titi. <risa> hoy, hoy, hoy ha sido un día bien, bien movido para mí. Entonces, ¿Really? Sí. Ah, no sea, problem. Como, bueno. como Ajá. un poco me operaron. Entonces todavía el... el Esta es mi primera semana de trabajo. Uh -huh. Entonces, como que todavía no ha agarrado el ritmo. Uh... Pero ahí estamos, todavía aguantando. Yes, yes. I'm moving on, right? Moving on. Ok. Ya practicamos. Perfecto, entonces, vámonos a la sala principal. No, let's, let's go to the main room and in there we're going to practice, ok? Ok. Very good. See you there.
Everybody is coming. Look at that happy face on Rosa. Whoa. Qué sonriente anda Rosa ahora. Uy, solo que está de cabeza. Ah, no, sí, sí, sí. sí. Sí, sí. Milagro, teacher, es un milagro. Y yes. estoy bien enojada siempre. Yes. Hasta miedito hablarle, teacher. Yes. <risa> Solo que no le entiendo qué está diciendo. No, porque tiene que apagar el micrófono. Que ahora sí ando contenta, pero mañana no voy a andar contenta. Hoy fue día de descanso. ¿Cuál descanso? Ay. Cuando más noche, un vino de noche. Ah. Ya vino a las ocho. Entonces, bueno, entonces, ¿cuál fue la felicidad de hoy? Tienes que haber visto algo bonito. Ay, Dios, nada. She's our boyfriend, maybe, that's why. A ver, ¿cuál? Yes. Mañana me van a ver todo enojada y me van a decir, ¿por qué estoy enojada? Ay, no, no, no mañana, mañana es el día que no le hablamos, entonces vamos a estar calladitos. Sí, mañana, no, maña... mañana no, no. Mañana se va Solo a Solo de pensarlo me da no sé qué. Ya. ¿Mm? Se va a pelear con el dicho mañana, pero no hablar nada. No, hombre, mañana es Black Friday, usted. No se puede. Ah, yeah, I mean, it's true, it's true. Mm, really? Yeah. Is, it, is, it, is it really crowded there? Se ah, pone súper, sí. súper pesado todo ahí, tráfico and everything. Really? Yes. Incluso ahora, ya había bastante tráfico ahora. Sí. Y eso que es jueves. Absolutely. El jueves no hay tráfico. Los viernes. Ah, ver, los viernes se pone horrible. Y ya con Black Friday se pone peor. Peor, el doble. Sí. Pero, pero en los centros comerciales ni se diga. Aquí mm. todo el mes es Black Friday. Black Friday, dice, y en realidad es aquí. Todo el mes, todo el mes. No es se da. Pues sí, ajá, es que toda la semana prácticamente eh, ha sido algo así, ¿va? pero como que, no, a saber que la gente que le agarra el propio día, usted. Entre por ejemplo, por, no. tal vez porque eh, una MD1, ¿va? De, que, de que, que se pone más barato los zapatos ahí. ¿Do you really think pero, that? De verdad, de verdad, de verdad, de verdad, de ¿Sí? verdad. Yo por eso ya que voy a entrar temprano voy a ir a agarrar un número para, para que me hagan más, más descuento. No, Las no. primeras personas que agarren número van con el 50% de descuento en todos los zapatos que compren. Creo no, que no, el máximo son como 10. No, ¿Y qué tienda? ¿Y qué tienda Puma o...? Promoción. ¿Y es tienda Puma o qué tienda es? Puma, no es MD, pero hay otra, ajá, creo que la Puma, creo que es. No me acuerdo cuál es, que well, es que se pone well, igual. Well, well. Sí, se pone, la Puma se pone igual. Ahí he comprado zapatos yo. Ah, pero no, yo, siento que que es, es, yo siento que es algo timo, porque yo los compré en 80 dólares la vez pasada y decía que estaban con el 50% de descuento. <risa> es que por eso hay que ir a ver una semana antes para ver si sí. de verdad les, les bajan. Sí, yo, yo, pero era necesario. Es que Miren, lo que pasa, pasa es que... Como, como las ofertas del súper, que la semana pasada valían 1.15 y ahora con oferta valen 1.30. <risa> Cabal. Cabal, del aceite, oh, como que hay arriba. No, el, everything, el everything has el gone up. El jabón para lavar trastes. Ahí bien mm. puesto ahora, oferta decía 1.30 y, y, y hace como una semana valía 1.15. <risa> Y no estaba en oferta. Sí, sí, Rosa. Si los zapatos valían hace que hace tres semanas, valían 50. 70. 50. Mira, a mí mis compañeras me han dicho de que va a estar más barato. Yo voy bueno. a darme una vuelta. No pierdo nada con ir a ver. Si hace tres semanas valían 50, la semana pasada los llevaron a 70. Mañana van a estar a 50 otra vez. Súper promoción. <ríe> No, no, no. No. no, en algunos lugares es así. No, no me consta en todo, pero sí, en algunos sí se pasan a veces. Sí. Pero anyway, pero anyway. Sí, el consumidor ya lo agarró. Y eso me va a decirle. Y la ya agarró varios. Y a policies. ¿Ah? Y es policies. 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 Y a policies. Policies. Pero en. En Payless, todo, todo el tiempo están en, en el siguiente para mitad de precio. Eso siempre. Siempre está. Siempre, el 60 sí. está, el segundo. Pero es que el, detalle, pero es que el detalle está, Marco, que, que si usted lo va a buscar en otro lado, los, bueno, 
la, 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 Miguel, la, a su position, look. Si usted anda buscando en otro lugar, los encuentra 20. Ahí los encuentra 35, 38. Y el otro dice con el 50%. Ya, pero, pero tiene, igual no pierden. Pero en ahí... Pelé estuvo bien el año pasado. Cuando entramos, ah. cuando ya se acabó la cuarentena, que bueno. estaba toda la tienda a mitad de precio. De ah, bueno. nice. No, y de no, verdad lo, que esa no, sí fue promoción. No, lo subo. Ah, y, cool. y ahí tiene. Ah, sí. Pregúnteme no, cuánto fui a comprar ni, yo. Ni pisto teníamos ahí, si todos veníamos de la pobreza en ese momento. Bueno, que no trabajamos tenis, más. Tenis Champion, Tenis Puma. Bueno, que, creo que no deben Champion. <ríe> pero son super. Champion sí venden. Nike Bien. Cortés. Y les digo, duran, duran. Porque sí. Y ya viene con el. Y viene con el Cortés con todo y la caja. Y viene el pan incluido, Matías. Yes. <risa> Yo de Payless, para, para, para okay. mi hijo, okay. los zapatos de colegio de Payless, porque si le compro en otro lado, ahí anda medio año comprando otro. Y créanme que los de Payless vale la pena la inversión que hago. Ah, Igual sí. que los Pumas. Yo ahí compro la, las plantillas de, de Memory Foam y me duran como cinco o seis meses porque esas se las pongo a los, a los eh, zapatos de seguridad de ah, la empresa. No, y tía. los zapatos pesan como cuatro libras. No, sí. Las plantillas son de, de, de foam, de, de algodón. Me ayudan, pero de gran manera. Ya no me duelen los, los, ¿Really? los tubitos y las rodillas. Good, por good, good. Ok. Good. Ir a en mi case, en mi case, voy a revisar los precios y así veo el otro año, tal vez los compro. Yo que compro ya, zapatos man. cada tres años. Me too, man. Me too. Cada tres también. Por, eso, di, por eso digo por que mañana meses. voy a ir a revisar los precios para comprarlos el otro año por esta época. <risa> so I can say. ¿Y de cuáles compras? ¿De los de acero, Ticho? Yes, man. <risa> Yes. Good no, inversion. Una Good bota. Inversion. Yo, yo compro, yo compro, pero los burritos de oro. Una burrita, ah, unos burritos, unos burritos de. Hey, I mean, that one, that one, unos trucos de oro. Tienen un cubo adelante, bro. Uno, tu, 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 tu. Unos rinos. Unos rinos. Yeah, una bota rinos. Nunca han escuchado ustedes uno que les dicen burros. Los burritos. Así como no. Yes, los Ay, burritos fueron hey, volteados. Hey, no, no lo moleste, Tiche. Yes, Ahí está calladito, no. miren. No, esos es que esos burritos yo... están caros. Pero ¿por qué lo de... Matías, ¿pero bueno. por qué lo decís? No, a mí. Al que se pique. Esos son. Al que lo cache. Esos son súper, son súper, súper duraderos. Ya, men. Ok. Tranquilo. Right. Otro yeah, culto de niño. Yeah. En Estados Unidos vale 70 dólares a, a botillas. Ya, yeah, men. ¿Qué botillas? Sí. ¿Sí? Las de burrita, esa burrita es cuero volteado. Ah, sí, porque son, son, ¿cómo se dice? Artesanales, como artesanales. No, no, o sea. I can get son... them in here for $20. Cuando. Hecho, mano. No, o sea, cuando traen un recuerdo, ¿cómo se llama eso? Artesanía. Souvenir. Mm, sí, es un souvenir, pero, pero le trae recuerdos de su tierra, de sí, su país. Sí. Ah, 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 bien en la suela, bien en la suela, bien en la tierra. Ah, ¿cómo? nostalgia. Le ah, algo de tierra. Ah, le trae nostalgia, es como el queso duro blandito. Ah, ok. Hay un pedazo ahí de... Ese que huele, de... Desde que huele a pie, casi, a hongo. Ah, okay. No, ese, ese no, okay. el duro viejo es el que huele a pie. Ah, rico en tortilla tostada en tortilla frijoles, tostada, el que huele a piel quesillo okay. ¿Qué ¿Qué es? No paso, lo que sí no paso es el carao porque así me, me recuerda a mis calcetines ah, yeah. cuando te quitas el zapato y tu esposa yeah. te dice al carao el carao. Tan, tan medicinal que es el carao. Pero el es por, eso, es por eso me voy luego para lavarme. <risa> ok, all right. Let's continue, people. Uh, let, let's start with Carla. Carla, who were you practicing with? With Jasmine. All right. Can you continue, yes. Jasmine? I want to listen to you both. Good morning, lady. How are you doing today? Hello, I am okay, but very is not. Really? 
was wrong ready? Well, my mother is sick and my sister can go see her tomorrow. I am sorry to hear that. The call asked for permission. He is right. You call go to HR department. Uh -huh. Where are? Sorry, department and request form. Cool. I mentioned the reason for the permission. Yes, absolutely. Okay. Thank you. Thank you, ladies. Thank you, Carla and uh, Jasmine. Listen, people. Listen. I don't know if you noticed, but in here there is a slight mistake in the conversation. There is some slight mistake. Where is the mistake? Look, in here, in here, give me a second. In here is the stars like Hank, then Julie, then Hank, right? Then included Betty in here in the conversation. But right over here continues Hank, okay? And in this part in here continues Julie. But this one over here is Betty again. Agarramos un y una en teacher. <laughs> Ajá, ajá, sorry, pero, yeah. pero hicimos el diálogo. Yeah, I mean, that, that, that is, that is, 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 is teacher. Really? Yes. No, no, because he says, listen, listen, listen. Yo pensé que solo Han y, y Julie yeah, eran. Could I, could I sí. mention the reason for the permission, he says? Yes, absolutely, says Hank. But this one is Betty, okay? Just for you to, you, you to know, okay? I'm sorry, teacher. Pero, so in, pero... that case, in that case, uh -huh. teacher, teacher, Julie is very? Hmm? Yeah, the second one. The second one. This the one that I have marked. Oh. This one that I got marked in here is very. Yeah. In okay. the conversation, three persons, teacher. Uh -huh, yes. Yeah, I mean, there are three, per three people. Mm -hmm. I thought, teacher, the second name of Betty is Julie, too, teacher. Yeah, I mean, exactly. Julie. Right. It's for you to Julie remember Betty. that. Okay. Julie Berry. Julie Berry. Yes. Oh, very Yuli. Yuli, very, very Yuli. <laughs> very Yuli. De veras que no, 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 no me percaté esa parte y tanto que lo leí. Yes, yo yes. sí, yo okay. me fijé, pero yo, 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 yo dije, lo dice dos veces, habla do, dos veces ella, dije, ah, ah, <laughs> <laughs> no, but, but like, let's do it in a row. All right, Marco, who are you practicing with? With Rosa. Ah, okay, with. With la siempre feliz Rosa. Ok, good. <laughs> <Chip -tru. laughs> no, ya la voy a enojar, teacher. Después allá anda enojadilla. Eh, no, no, no. <laughs> no. Never. Never. <laughs> Le dejo el módulo si se enoja conmigo. <laughs> <laughs> Vaya. Lo voy a tomar no, en no. cuenta. <laughs> no, Rosa, no, no. if okay. you want, do it the, the two. Julie and Betty at final. Right? Yeah, yeah, she can do it. Right. Uh, good morning, ladies. How are you to how are you doing today? Hello, Ham. I am okay, but Betty is not. Really? What's wrong, Betty? Well, my mother is sick and my sister can go see her tomorrow. I'm sorry to hear that you could have for permission. He is right because go to HR department and request a form. Could the mention the reason for the permission? Yes, absolutely. Okay, very good. Thank you, uh, Marco and Rosa. Y van corriendo y... Yeah, man, they're like... <laughs> they, they're getting fluency. That's good. So, Le but... practicamos bastante. Okay, yeah. that's great. That's great. Fatima. No estoy haciendo esas caras, o sea, ¿qué estoy haciendo? Ah, who were you practicing with, Fátima? With Domingo. Ah, with Domingo. Pero no era Domingo, ¿verdad? Que le estaba haciendo así. Oh. <laughs> ok, let's, let, let's start. Ok. Good morning, ladies. How are you doing today? Hello, Ham. I am ok. But Betty is not. Really? What's wrong, Betty? Well, my mother is sick and my sister can't go see her tomorrow. I'm sorry to hear that. You call us for permission. That is right. You call go to HR department 
um, request on um, form. Request on um, form. Cool. I mentioned the reason for the permission. Yes, absolutely. Very good. Thank you, Fatima and Domingo. Good. All right. Yes. Desde que inició la pandemia con lo único. Hey, Amelia, la pandemia. Hey, Amelia. Ella sí hace falta escuchar esas cosas, padre. Estos anuncios. Yo creí que era Amelia que estaba cansada. Okay, good. Ever, who were you practicing with? I work with with Gilmar. With Hilmer, all right. Let's start. Ah, I am mean, I mean, Hilmer is there, right? Ah, Jorge, you could solve the problem. Good. Yeah. Okay. Nice, man. Nice. All right, yeah. let's continue with Hilmer. Okay, Hilmar. Morning, ladies. How are you doing today? Hello, Ham. Um, I'm okay, but very not. Really? What's wrong with you? Well, my mother is sick and my sister can go see her tomorrow. I'm sorry to hear that. You could ask for permission. She is right. You could go to human resource department and request a call. Call, I mentioned the reason for the permission. Yes, absolutely. Good. Yes, absolutely. Right. Okay. Good. Now, just give me a second. What did I do? Then? Ah, yes, here they are. Thank you, Ever and Hilmar. Now, Amilcar, who were you practicing with? Uh, with uh, Jennifer. Okay. Let's go. With the blue chick. Okay. Good morning, ladies. How are you doing today? Hello, Hank. I am okay, but where is not? Really? What wrong, Betty? Well, my mother is sick and my sister can't go see her tomorrow. I'm sorry to hear that. You could ask the you could ask for permission. He's right, you could go to HR department and request a form. Continue. Could I mention the reason for the permission? Yes, absolutely. Yeah, very good. Very good. Just one, 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 one thing. Listen. Eh, siempre tengamos en cuenta. This is here. Here. Porque si yeah. decimos her. Eh, estamos pro... No, estamos pronunciando la forma pasada del verbo. Mm -hmm. Listen. Acá para formar el pasado. Ah, después de la R, solo le agregamos B y ya tenemos la forma pasada de este verbo. Y se pronuncia yes. heard. Y se pronuncia heard. 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 Okay. Can repeat, heard. teacher, please? Entonces, heard. I'm sorry. Uh, I'm, I'm sorry. ¿Y la pronunciación de este? How do you pronounce, teacher? I'm sorry to hear that. Hear that. To hear that. Okay. Hear, hear okay. that. Hear. Yes. Hear. hear. Porque si pronunciamos, eh, como les mencionaba, heard. Eh, heard. heard Heard, estamos haciendo lo que The past. Y esta es la forma pasada del verbo. Pero se pronuncia okay. heard. Okay, heard. Heard. Heard that. Yes. Heard. Yeah. I'm sorry to hear that. Okay. Good. Where? All right. Thank you, Amilcar and Jennifer. You did it excellent. Now, let's see. Matias, who were you heard. practicing with? Heard. 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 I don't remember. <laughs> you were practicing with William Rodriguez, if I'm not wrong. Mm, okay. Okay, I do William. Yo, yo no sabía como los dos están sin causa. Uno de los dos. <laughs> yeah, but I think it was uh, Rodriguez. Okay. Right, William? Uh, yeah, me. I am a star. I am a star. Good morning, ladies. How are okay. you doing today? Hello, Hank. I am okay, but Betty is not. Really? What's wrong, Betty? Well, my mother is sick and my sister can't go see her tomorrow. I am sorry to hear that. 
you could ask for permission? He's right. You could go to HR department and request a form. Could I mention the reason for the permission? Yes, absolutely. Very good, right? Thank you. William and Matias, you did it excellent. Now, Romeo, who were you practicing with? Maritza. Uh, Maritza. Okay. Where's Maritza? Yes. <laughs> I am. Mean, she's there. She's there. Oh. It's sleeping, yeah. <laughs> no, Marisa. <laughs> ya se estaba componiendo Marisa dice, ya para, para dormir después de clase. <laughs> Marisa, are you there? It's sleeping. <laughs> no, it's just reading the paper. <laughs> no, it's sleeping. No, me estaba preparando, dígale, para cuando te uh, okay. Buscaba la pijama nada más. <laughs> exactly. Okay, let's start. Okay. Good morning, ladies. How are you doing today? Hello, Han. I am okay. But Betty is not. Really? What's grown Betty? Well, my mother is six. And my sister can can go. See, see her tomorrow. Sorry. I'm sorry to hear that you could ask for permission. He's right. You could go to a chair department and request a form. He's right. Cool. I mentioned the reason for the permission. Yes, absolutely. Okay, very good. Thank you, Romeo and Maritza. You did it excellent. Let okay. me see who's next. Mm -mm -mm. Carlos Gualberto. Sure, I don't remember who is. <laughs> who are you practicing with? <laughs> Jesus Christ. Okay, who was who was practicing with Carlos Alberto Gualberto? ¿Quién fue? Tiene la piedra. Who was the unfortunate oh, person that don't remember? Amilcar, Amilcar was you, man? No. Ella estuvo con. <laughs> no teacher. Con Jennifer. Uh -huh. Let me see. It must be between. Uh, Jonathan eh, 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 o oh, William Eduardo. Yo con Vanessa estuve practicando. Ah, with Vanessa. En this exercise. Teacher, yo puedo practicar con él. Ah, ah, wait, okay, okay. I got, I got, I got Miss, I got Miss Rutia here, right? Y sí, porque no estaba con nadie. <laughs> Me too. Okay. Good, good. Ah, uh, eh, and you, Jorge, you were, you were with Marlon. <coughs> Yeah, okay, perfect. All right, cool. Let's start, Carlos. Good morning, ladies. Who are you doing today? Hello, Hank. I am okay, but Betty is not. Really? What's wrong, Betty? Well, my mother is sick, and my sister can go see, to see her tomorrow. I am sorry to hear that. You could ask for permission. He is right. You could go go to HR department and request a form. Could I mention the reason for the permission? Yes, absolutely. <laughs> okay, very good. There you go. Now, Vanessa, let's practice with a new pair. With Jonathan, okay, good. Okay. I'm a Nigos. Okay, continue, continue. Okay. Good morning, ladies. How are you doing today? Oh, uh, I'm, I'm okay, but Betty is not. Really? What's wrong, Betty? Well, my mother is sick, and my sister can go see here tomorrow. I'm sorry to hear that. 
You could ask for permission. Yes, right. You could go to HR department and request a form. Call and Call. mention the reason, the reason for the permission. Yes, absolutely. Okay, very good. Uh, it was with William too? Yeah, right? Okay. <clears throat> well, you were you three, right? William? Okay. Good morning, ladies. How are you doing today? Vanessa, help me out, please. Hello, Hank. I am okay, but Betty is not. Really? What's wrong, Betty? Well, my mother is sick. Uh, my sister can go see her tomorrow. I am sorry to hear that. You could ask for permission. He is right. You could go to HR department and request a form. Could I mention the reason for permission? Yes, absolutely. Okay, very good. Thank you, Vanessa and William. All right, now let's let's put an end into this. Jorge, you were with uh, Marlon. Marlon, are you there? Okay, perfect. Give me a second. Marlon. Teacher, uh -huh. I practice with, with he. Let me see. Wait, 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 Marlon. Did he leave? No, no, no. I think he, he continued with the problems. All right. Okay, Matthias, go. Okay. Good morning, lady. How are you doing today? Hello, Han. I am okay, but Barry is not. Really? What's wrong, Barry? Well, my mother is sick. And my assistants can go see her tomorrow. I'm sorry to hear that. You could ask for permission? He is right. You could go to HR department and request an for. Could I mention the reason for the permission? Yes, absolutely. Okay, thank you, Han. See you. Nice, nice. Okay, good. What are we gonna do, people? Now that we have been practicing throughout the, the, the conversation, I'm gonna stop in here with this and uh, let's go to talk a little bit about the grammar part, right? Uh, in this case, in this case, what we are going to be basically doing is just to be talking a little bit about the, the um, main use of uh, this one, right? Of cool. But we're going to see cold in a very different way as we have been doing it in the past. Because in the past, we were like doing uh, uh, the uses of this model verb in different uh, stages. Now we're just going to be talking a little bit about only one. And the main use that we're going to be about cool, it's this. Look, we're going to use this model verb to express possibility. This is the main use that we're going to be talking about today, right? Possibilities. Possibilities about what? About something that might happen in the future, okay? A possibility about something that can happen, okay, in a near future, okay? Good. So that's what it says. We got the structure in here. How to create sentences, right, with the structure. Look at this. Uh, as in every structure, we got the subject. Besides the subject, we got the auxiliary verb that in this case is cooled, plus the verb, right? And plus a complement, okay? So that's, that, that structure is very simple. If you compare this structure with the structure of chulled, it's slightly similar. What it changes in here is the, the phrasal verb, right? I mean, the, the, the model verb. Before it was chulled, now is cooled. We got some examples? Yeah, we got a pair of examples in here. Uh, Vanessa, help me out reading this one. 
you could request a day off. Ah, okay, good. You could request a day off. So you see, this is an action that you can do, okay, as a possibility, right? Probably this action you haven't you haven't done it yet, right? But that's a possibility that this action can happen. Okay. Marco, help me out with that one. You could talk to your supervisor of or the manager. Okay, very good. You could talk to your supervisor or the manager, right? So it's still got as a possibility about something to happen. Okay. Let's put another one. Amilcar, help me out, please. She could explain her situation. Ah, okay, very good. How would you translate this this example, Amika? Excuse me, teacher. How would you translate this example? She could explain her situation. Uh, tú deberías explicar tu situación. Is a third person. Su situación. Su situación. Ajá, pero no es tú. Es su. No, su, eh. su situación. Ajá, ella no, debe, su. ella podría explicar Ajá, debe su get. situación. Su situación, ok, very good. So, in that case, that's a possibility, right, for something to happen. Okay, entonces, básicamente acá lo que estamos haciendo es expresar una posibilidad de algo que pueda suceder. Ok, with this series of examples. What is a possibility for you people that might happen, that, or that could happen for tomorrow, for example? As an example, there, sin escribir, así es. What would be a possibility for you that you might have? Llegar tarde a uh, la casa. Ah, uh, but, uh, aha, but uh, put, it, put, put the word cool. The auxiliary bird cool in the free center. Free the night. I could be day. late <laughs> at I, home. I could be late at home. Okay, very good. Uh -huh. That would be one. Very good. Uh -huh. Any other possibility that you might have? He could explain uh, because arrive this moment. He could explain the reason why he was late. Okay. Very good. Another one, Jennifer? Give me one possibility, Jennifer. Wake up late for my work. I could get late, okay. In another one, I could go home if I get asleep. <laughs> At work, right? <laughs> uh, yeah, so you know, you will be fired. Okay. All right. Good. Uh, let's see another uh, one. I Adam? I call I call by boy. I call by. Uh huh. I call I call by is Black Friday. I could buy shoes. Black Friday. I, oh, I could buy uh, shoes. Black Friday. Friday. Okay. Good. There's a possibility, right? Like Rosa, that one is for Rosa. Y, y de y esa iba a decir, sabe? Una sí iba a decir. I could buy new shoes tomorrow. Okay, yes. very good. Uh -huh. This is acceptable. Helmar, give me one. Uh, I call visit my friends on the weekend. Ah, okay, very good. Marcos? Uh, we could go to the Black Friday. Mm. We could I go. we could go to buy in Black Friday. Right. Yeah, porque Black Friday no es un en sí un lugar específico, un lugar. Right? Por eso no podemos uh, mencionarlo. Yeah, iba a decir where. Ajá, exactly. <laughs> exactly. There you go. Good, Marcos. Fátima. Mm -hmm. I could I could cry if I had two boyfriends. <laughs> <laughs> no, give me one example of animal. I could buy the new shoes or the new 
dresses of the new clothes. I don't know why. No sé por qué. Ya, ya presentía que se iba a decir. <laughs> something related yeah. to shoes, dresses, makeup, or something like that. Every yeah. woman. Yeah, I mean, women are Every like woman. Every women woman. are like that. But let's see. Probably Carla is something different. <laughs> Carla. Give me an example, Carla. I co-survivor my job. Mm -hmm. Okay. okay. <laughs> Why tomorrow? Porque mañana le suben los precios a los materiales. Ouch. Mm. Not good. Not good. <laughs> All right. Let's see. Vanessa, give me what? He could ask, ask permission for a ride later. Late. 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 She okay. could ask permission well, for arriving late. Okay, good, good. William Rodriguez. Why, teacher? Ah? Why? Arriving. Acuérdese que después de una preposición, especialmente la preposición for, si lleva un verbo después de eso, el verbo tiene que transformarse en ing. ING. Yes. Is a new. Ah? No, actually. No, actually. Eso debieron haberlo visto. Bueno, parte, parte de ello. El módulo pasado. Look. Solo ¿Eh? <risa> así. <risa> sí, porque no, no, no. No, no es que después de, después de ciertas preposiciones, generalmente, mm. eh, si usted coloca un verbo, después de ciertas preposiciones, ese verbo se transforma en ING. ING. Uh -huh. For looking. Exacto. Ajá. Only, ah. only before for. No, también está of, 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 eh, by, ok, and, and, so, and so on. Okay. Ajá. Y también sí, cuando sí. se usa el segundo verbo y el segundo verbo, ah, también. Ya, Ajá, es, 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 eh, yeah. cuando va después de between, ciertos verbos. Between use the two, ¿verdad, dicho? Exactly. Preposition two. Recuerde que después de ciertos verbos se coloca el... el Dos verbos no pueden ir juntos en una oración no, en forma base. Never. No pueden okay. ir juntos en forma base. Siempre, mm, generalmente, el yes. segundo se modifica. Ya sea, se modifica. Con, ya sea con un past. infinitivo, ya sea con un infinitivo o un ing, un gerundio. ¿Okay? Un ejemplo claro. Oh, okay. Un ejemplo claro. I listen, remember listen, it. Listen. Teacher. I want to eat. I want to eat. Tenemos want. Y tenemos el verbo it juntos. Entonces, pero ahí lo separa la preposición to. ¿Por qué? Porque después de want, el siguiente verbo, si va a colocar un verbo, es obligatoriamente tiene que ser infinitivo. Y el infinitivo es agregarle el to al verbo. ¿Ok? I want to eat. ¿Ok? Mm -hmm. I have to. Listen. I have to organize my bedroom. That's I another like one. To, like to. I like, I like to listen to music. Okay. Okay. Aunque, aunque like funciona para ambos, puede colocar como gerundio o como infinitivo. Por ejemplo, I like to listen to, mu to, listen to music, infinitivo. I like listening to music. Okay. It can be acting as both. Por ejemplo, tenemos el verbo love, de amar, right? Love. Love. I love dancing. I love dancing, ok. Uh -huh. Y sí, después de Ahí love, no es I love to. También se puede, también se puede. Es un verbo que funciona para ambos. Solo que. To dance yeah. or dancing. For both, for both. I love to dance or I love dancing. Aunque el, lo más común es I love dancing. Mm. Yeah. You saw that, the Teacher. last module. Teacher, bueno, en mi caso yo había, estaba viendo un ejemplo que es, eh, lo había formado. Uh -huh. I could travel with my parent on, son on Saturday. Yeah, that's correct. Pero, pero eh, ahí estaría prácticamente el, el, el translate, lo estaría diciendo, estaré viajando con mis papás el sábado. ¿verdad? Pero, o a visitar. Mm, viajando. No. Nah. Mm -hmm. Viajaré. Re repeat, re repeat, repeat the, the example. And listen, I, listen, everybody. I could travel 
Uh -huh. With my parents on Saturday. Uh -huh. ¿Qué está expresando él ahí? Que podría. Que podría viajar. Possibility. Ahí no es estaré viajando, viajaré. Podría viajar. Possibility. Ok. ¿Cómo se puede dar o no? Ok. Y en, y en, eh, escuchando lo que estaba diciendo, y si le agrego u, 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 otro verbo que sea, I could travel, I could travel to visit my parent on Saturday, ¿eso es correcto o hay que modificar uno de los verbos? Eso es correcto. Ah, uh, yeah, in that case, I could travel to visit. En este sentido, gramaticalmente hablando, es incorrecto. Sería porque, visiting. Porque después de travel, generalmente lo que se coloca es un noun, un nombre. Porque acuérdese que travel básicamente es un verbo de movimiento. ¿Hacia dónde? Entonces, y generalmente se refiere a lugares. Entonces, ahí, obligatoriamente, después del travel to, to, se tiene que colocar un noun, un nombre. Uh -huh. En el caso de Siempre en la misma estructura, eh, en el translate que sea, yo estaré, yo podría viajar a, a visitar a mis padres el fin de semana o el sábado, ¿cómo sería la estructura? No, no, no se modificaría, o sería, I could travel to visiting, o I travel to visit, no sé cómo sería. No, porque como ya lleva el to, en todo caso, es incorrecto. Solo sería pero, visit, eh, solo sería visit. Listen, listen, listen. En un hipotético caso, dice él, que estaría, si estuviese correcto, en ese caso, eh, se, como ya lleva el to, simplemente mm -hmm. coloca visit. Only visit. Mm -hmm. Exacto. Si no, ese, eso... Ya visit se transforma, ya visit se transforma en infinitivo porque ya lleva el to después de travel. Pero no se puede porque, porque, porque travel tendría que ser, digamos, por ejemplo, to uh, travel tu sal Salvador, ¿verdad? Exacto. Uh -huh. Entonces, entonces sí. igual, ajá, no se podría. Le pregunto porque me he topado con otros eh, ejemplos o, o personas que ya hablan inglés. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Entonces, hacen ese tipo de conjugaciones con, con, con dos verbos en presente, ¿verdad? Uh -huh. Visit, travel to visit, o... o cualquier cosa y utilizan los dos las, los dos verbos en presente entonces es, por eso cuando te mencionaba eso me quedé con en, esa duda. en realidad en realidad el verbo que sí se podría utilizar ahí con visit sería sería go en vez de travel decir go go uh -huh. go to visit yeah in that case you can you, you, you can say that right mm -hmm. pero travel como que no and right Drive, drive. Yeah, I mean, that's another one. Drive. Mm -hmm. Drive. Drive. Mm -hmm. Okay. Exactly. Okay. Or drive perfect. to visit or drive to visiting. No, in that case, two, two, two. To visit. Okay, right. perfect. Thank Very you. Very nice. Teacher. Okay, cool. Let's continue with this. Now, cool. Look at this. I could pay the bills. That's a possibility, right? William, help me out reading this one. Rodríguez. Okay. The last. She. Mm -hmm. The last one. Okay. She could show her bank statement. Ah, okay. She could show her bank statement. Nice. Romeo, help me out, please. He could work harder. Okay. He could work harder. Very good. William Eduardo. She could play. She could play guitar. Ah, okay. That, that's your example. Okay. All right. Good. Now, read the example that we got in here in the presentation. The last one. Um, okay. The... They could effort in their job. All right. They could put more effort in their job. Okay. Very good. Thank mm. you. Now let's. What is effort? Effort. <clears throat> effort. Esfuerzo. 
Ok. <ríe> esa pregunta le iba a hacer. <ríe> ok. Qué raro, sí. Matías. Sí, de esa pregunta yo dije, ¿qué será eso? Y le voy a preguntar. Bueno, ok. Eso es raro en persona. Now you know. Jennifer, help me out with the last one. You could play a good game. All right, you could play a good game. Very nice. All right, people. <coughs> good. Now let's continue. Let's continue. Teacher, le iba a sacar captura, teacher. Ah, okay. Wait a <coughs> yeah, teacher. Ready? Good. Cool. In negative statements. Take this out before we leave. The structure. This is the structure for negative statements. Check that out. We got subject plus who plus not plus member plus the complement. Examples. Yeah, we got some of them. Check this out. Jorge, help me out reading. I couldn't, it couldn't, I couldn't explain the situation to my boss. Very good. I couldn't explain the situation to my boss. There you go. Ever, help me out. She couldn't go to the office. Ah, okay. Very good. And then we got another one, Maritza. They couldn't continue with the meeting all right they couldn't continue with the meeting listen up people in this case in this case when we use this moral verb in negative in this case we are talking not about a possibility we are talking about something that already happened in the past okay in este caso acá cuando ya usamos las formas negativas de could, ya no estamos hablando, generalmente ya no estamos hablando de una posibilidad, ¿ok? Sino más bien de una acción que no se llevó a cabo en el pasado. ¿Ok? Por ejemplo, por ejemplo, si recordamos, si recordamos, could es la forma pasada o la for el verbo pasado ¿Ok? De la forma base de can. Can es presente. Sí. Could es forma pasada. ¿Ok? Entonces, en este caso, en negativo, en negativo, cuando ponemos básicamente una oración en negativo, acá estamos denotando ya la forma pasada del verbo can. No pues pudieron. En acción, exactly. En esta acción ya se está hablando de algo que uh -huh. sucedió en el pasado, por así decirlo. ¿Ok? I couldn't explain the situation to my boss. No pude explicar la situación a mi jefe. So you see, in that case, that's a past action. Right? She couldn't go to the office. Ah, no pudo ir a la oficina. Right? Probably something happened. They couldn't continue with the meeting. Ah, ellos no pudieron continuar con la reunión. So you see, this is, all of them are expressions in the past. Okay, about something that did not happen in the past. Okay, good. Before we go, people, uh, tomorrow, para mañana, eh, voy a terminar de explicar o vamos a terminar de hacer algunos ejemplos en las just no questions. Como usar just no questions con cool, something that you know already, eh, que ahora por motivos de tiempo no lo voy a poder hacer. But, mm -hmm. but, 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 I want this to be, you know, like clear. So I don't know if you have any questions, at least in these negatives. Do you have any questions? Tenemos alguna duda acá con relación a las, a las formas negativas de cool? Teacher. Teacher. Que... All right. Uh, the first Domingo. Tell me, Domingo. Uh, con solo una. Eh, pero estas serían expresiones no concluidas, de que pudieron haber pasado, pero no se hicieron. No es una, una, una oración de, de, de pasado completa. Actually, dependiendo del contexto y cómo lo ponga, sí, Domingo. Por ejemplo, listen, listen. Si usted por algún motivo ahora no pudo asistir al trabajo, usted pudo haber dicho, I couldn't go to work. No pude ir a trabajar. Mm. You see? 
Uh -huh. Aquí sí el verbo está tomando netamente la forma pasada, la acción pasada, ¿ok? De algo que usted iba a hacer, pero no pudo. ¿Ok? Uh -huh. That's what happened. Ajá. Eh, el could, no se puede poner un can a la palabra, ¿verdad? No. Never. Okay. Sure? In, in my example, I couldn't visit my grandmother <laughs> last weekend. Yes. Ah, okay. Very good. I couldn't. Okay. Dale casa, Matías. Gracias, Milker. Hey, Matías. Agarra el número. I'm sorry. I'm sorry, man. All right, Milker. Hey, concédale, concédale los 10 minutos todos los días. <laughs> okay. All right, hey teacher, uh -huh. for example, y por ejemplo, y en una traducción hay, por ejemplo, antes de que explicara esto del Q del pasado, uh -huh. yo traducía, valga la aclaración, I couldn't explain, no podría, o sea, como si fuera un infinitivo, algo así. Pensaba que así se podía traducir. No podría explicar la situación a mi jefe. Pero existe, existe un tiempo para, es, para said, esa. That's what I said to Domingo. Es lo que dije a Domingo. Dependiendo del contexto, así va a ser el uso. Puede ser netamente pasado algo que usted no hizo o algo Person. que usted no todavía no es, no está todavía que, que, que le falta, que no ha podido hacer. Right. Pero sería la misma estructura, ¿verdad? Yeah, la misma structure. gramática que digo. Same structure, same thing. Dependiendo de la situación. Depending on the situation. Y, 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 este, y ese no podría, ¿qué tiempo sería, teacher? Más no perfect, <laughs> participle, no sé, no podría explicar. I en este it. caso, es que no po pude. Podría no pude, ser. Ya es un pasado completo. Pero no listen, podría. Listen, listen. That's, listen. Pasado That's, definitivo, yo. No. Easy, man. Easy. That's just a simple present expressing possibility using cool. Mm -hmm. Simple present. Yes. Okay. That's it. Mm. Got it? ¿Y qué lo va a identificar, okay. Amilcar? Depending on the situation, the context will tell you What, in what specific, you know, like action, you will say that. O no pude, o no he podido, o no podría, right? You see? Y es netamente okay. el pasado o, ok, una acción que todavía no ha completado. ¿Qué le va a decir eso? El contexto en el que lo esté mencionando. That's what it is. Yeah. But tomorrow I'm going to try to finish explaining this and the just no question version, ok? Okay, but right now, people, listen, listen, listen. But right now, right now, antes que nos vayamos, listen. A modo de ejemplo, and I'm going to be reading the examples in there. Quiero que me escriban un ejemplo de eso, en negativo, pero no acá. No me lo van a decir acá. Quiero que lo escriban en su celular y me lo envíen. Solo un ejemplo al grupo, in there. And I'm going to check them, okay? Just to finish. Good. So I'm gonna stop sharing in here and uh, just give me give me one second. I'm gonna put the, the attendance list in here and let's finish. Give me one bye second. Bye 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 bye. Okay, good. Let me see. Uh, Alfredo, so is working. Amil Carcañengues. Present. Good. Carlos Gualberto. I think that problems with the year now. No, he's Present. there. Hi, man. Didn't see you in the past. Domingo Alexander. Present. Good. Ever de Jesus. Present teacher. Okay. Fatima Alejandra. Present, sure. Great. Hilmar Cruz. Present. Nice. Jonathan Alexander. Jonathan, are you there? Okay. Jose Matias. I'm here, teacher. Ah, okay, good. 
Carla Benazir. Present teacher. Ah, okay, great. Marco David. Present. Nice. Maritza Alcira. Present. Very good. Marlon Alberto. I think we got problems yet. Mauricio Alexander. Ah, okay. Marlon, I got it here. Mauricio, is there Mauricio? No, I think not. Romeo Alexis. Present teacher. Good. Rosa del Carmen. Finish. Uh, finish. <laughs> yeah, I mean, the, cl the, the class is finished. <laughs> No, es que me sé que ya puse el ejemplo, por eso me, ah, okay. me confundí. Ok. Vanessa Odette. Present. All right, Vanessa. Uh, today we're going to have the 10 minutes feedback. Ok. <laughs> Very good. <laughs> There you go. Uh, let me see, let me see, let me see. William Eduardo. Do you check in the example now, teacher? Nah, right now I'm passing the attendance. Please. Right after that, Listen. we're going to have the 10 minutes. Uh, thank you, William. We're going to have the 10 minutes with uh, Vanessa, and <clears throat> then I'm going to check them, okay? Oh, okay. Bye-bye. Uh, okay, man. Bye. <laughs> Jennifer Noemi. Present. Good. And me. Jennifer, please. Quedó, pues. It's a miracle. It's a yeah, miracle. It's a miracle. Teacher and me. Yeah, yeah. Jasmine. Uh, right now, Jasmine. Jasmine, me. <laughs> okay. Menos mal que la que tiene sueño soy yo. <laughs> hey, no, hombre. Estaba después, hombre. Uh -huh. Ajá. Let me see. Uh, Stephanie Lisset. Present. Hey, Stephanie. No, se volvió a conectar la Natalie, ¿verdad? Qué valor. Ya no quiso. Bueno, al menos darle saludos ahí. <ríe> William, okay. Al William, William Alberto. We got the last yes, one. All right, people. So basically, that's going to be everything for tonight, people. Tomorrow, we're going to have the class 18, I think. Yeah. And uh, we are about to finish this one. So let's see you tomorrow, mm -hmm. people. Have a wonderful night. Bye bye. Good night. Happy Thanksgiving for all. <laughs> have a beautiful all right. night. Happy, people. happy Turkey Day and Black Friday tomorrow. <laughs> oh, no. Today, the, the, the hora. <laughs> yeah, man. Bye, today. bye uh, Carla. <laughs> yeah, man. For, since now, since today. <laughs> yeah. yeah, it's just a mess. <laughs> yes, man. Yes. <laughs> hey guys, see you. <laughs> all right, see you. Bye bye. All right, good night, Marlon. Bye bye. Goodbye, yeah. Steve. Goodbye, Domingo. I'll see you tomorrow. All right, I'm gonna put, let me see, let me see, in the waiting room. Okay, Vanessa. Uh, we're gonna have the 10 minutes feedback, you know, like we're gonna put them in here because. Give me a second. I am gonna show you. Because there are some words or some things related to the topics that I think you have some doubts, right? Si tenemos alguna duda, entonces estos 10 minutos los vamos a necesitar para aclarar cualquier duda que tengamos de este tema y los temas anteriores. Ok, teacher. Eh, tengo dudas con los eh, idioms. Uh, idioms. Good. Ok. Uh -huh. Give me one second. Uh, okay. Good. No, que no entiendo. Es como, como, como saber en qué parte van o como. Ah, la posición más que todo. Ajá. Ajá Vaya, la como... posición más que todo va a depender de la forma en cómo estemos, de la, la conversación que estemos teniendo. Recordemos que un idioma básicamente es un conjunto de palabras que unidas 
forman una frase específica que no tiene traducción si la va a poner palabra por palabra, ¿ok? O a veces uh -huh. no tiene como un, por así decirlo, no tiene una, un, un significado eh, propio si la traducimos palabra por palabra. Uh -huh. ¿Okay? Bien, entonces, un idioma, entonces es eso, ¿ok? Bien, ahora bien, tenemos algunos, por ejemplo, decíamos, piece of cake, tenemos otro, hit the sack, take that out, uh, let me see, sí. tenemos otro. Y por ejemplo, uno que decía, wipe it out. Ajá, this one. Uh -huh. Ajá, good, that's another one. Ok, good. En este caso, ¿qué es lo más recomendable en este tipo de temas? Vaya, para comenzar, lo más recomendable con estos temas es memorizarse los idiomas, memorizarlos. ¿Por qué? Porque si usted los traduce palabra por palabra, no le va a encontrar lógica a la gran mayoría. Entonces, uh -huh. lo que uno debe de hacer acá es ponerlos en contexto, hacer una oración y así se pueden practicar. Vaya, ¿por qué? Porque si decimos a piece of cake, literalmente a piece of cake, así, significa un pedazo de pastel. ¿Okay? Pero acá, en realidad significa algo fácil, algo sencillo, una actividad que usted va a hacer y para usted es súper sencillo hacer. Mm, ok, uh -huh. entonces eso significa, vaya, hit the sack. Literalmente hit es golpear. ¿Okay? Golpear. Uh -huh. The sack, el saco. <risa> Literalmente uh -huh. es golpear el saco, pero se puede decir, ¿y eso de golpear el saco qué? ¿Qué? Entonces, pero este es... Go to sleep. Eso significa. Ya ve la expresión que dice así como que what <risa> generalmente es bien, o sea, no tiene nada que ver a veces con, lo, con, la, con la traducción real que tienen. Wipe out. All right. What is this? Wipe out in this case means extremely tired. Mm -hmm. Tired. Es cuando se está cansada. Okay? Mm -hmm. Tired. Al menos eso es lo que dice ahí, ¿verdad? Wipe out. ¿Tiene, ¿Tiene el manual? Ajá, uh -huh. very tired Very tired Es cuando usted ha tenido un día súper largo De trabajo y usted dice Ah, I'll wipe out Right? So en este caso es como, ah, estoy muy cansada Bien, con relación a la posición De cómo, cómo, cómo colocarlos en, un, en, en una oración Bueno, uh -huh. básicamente Generalmente esto va a veces al principio, aunque la mayoría de veces van al final, dependiendo de, de eh, el, ¿cómo le quiero decir acá? Dependiendo de la, el contexto que se esté hablando. Por ejemplo, mire, ¿qué le resulta fácil a usted de hacer? ¿Cómo? Una actividad que sea fácil para usted de poder hacer. ¿Cuál sería? Ok. Voy a enseñar. Enseñar. Ajá, capacitar. Vaya, vaya. Train other people. Entrenar o capacitar a otras personas. Is a piece of cake for me. You see? Uh -huh. Entrenar a otras personas es bien sencillo para mí. You see? Como nosotros decimos, pan comido, piece of cake. Right? That's what it is. Ahora bien, I feel... Uh, vamos a poner, I am sleepy. Ah, estoy durmiéndome, right? Me siento... Ah, ya, ya, ya doy las 12. I... Listen up. I will go or I will hit the sack. You see? Mm -hmm. I'm sleeping. Mm -hmm. I will hit the sack. 
O aquí también lo podemos poner así. I will keep the sack because I am... Pongámosle tired. Una razón más. Acá, mire. I am sleepy. Ah, me estoy durmiendo. Me iré a la cama. Ok. O me iré a dormir. Acá. Mm -hmm. Me iré a dormir porque estoy cansado. Yo sé, dependiendo entonces mm -hmm. del contexto que lo estemos usando o la razón, así puede tal vez mm -hmm. ir al principio o ir al final. Okay. Y así funciona mm -hmm. con cada uno de ellos. Ay, okay. Cada uno de ellos. Sí. Está así. Entonces, Ay. sí, este, este en realidad es uno de los temas un tanto más complicaditos porque si ve, casi todos al traducirlos como que no tienen sentido. Ay, como dan un sentido. Uh -huh. Ajá, exactamente. Entonces, aquí lo único, lo único que, que se debe hacer es tratar de memorizarlos, al menos los que creamos que podemos utilizar más. Uh -huh. Esos son los que se pueden okay. memorizar un poco más. Uh -huh. okay. Entonces, esa es la función y la posición que ocupan en, dentro de una oración. Ok, teacher. Yeah. Oh, sí. Perfecto. No sé si tiene alguna otra duda con relación a algún otro tema. No, teacher. No, solo el de ahorita quizás, solo el, el, la última parte. De para hacer la ajá, negativa. No la entendí ajá. muy bien. Vaya, perfecto. Ajá. En las formas negativas, tenemos full not or cooling. Let me see. Like this. Like this. O current. Uh -huh. Ok. In here, básicamente lo que necesitamos de estructura. As we know, the subject plus cool plus not plus uh -huh. main verb plus complement. Uh -huh. Ok, esta es básicamente la estructura que nosotros utilizamos okay, para formar negativos. Uh -huh. Ahora bien, in here podemos poner I couldn't go to work today. Go to work. Ok. I couldn't go to work today. Básicamente acá uh -huh. lo que estamos expresando es una acción en pasado. Algo que usted no pudo hacer. Ok. Entonces acá uh -huh. lo que está haciendo es tomar básicamente la función de la forma pasada del verbo. Ok. ¿Y cuál es la forma presente okay. del verbo? Básicamente es can. Ok. Can es la forma presente. Now, could, en este caso, es la forma pasada. Bien, pero acá en negativo, básicamente lo que estamos dando a entender es que en esta acción usted no pudo, no pudo ir a trabajar. I couldn't go to work. Right? No pude ir a trabajar. Ahora bien, okay. en esta. I couldn't explain the situation to my wife. Listen up. I couldn't explain the situation to my wife. No pude explicar la situación a mi esposa. Listen. I couldn't explain the situation to my wife. Right. Mm -hmm. En este caso, listen, se puede interpretar de dos maneras. Listen. La primera no pude explicar la situación a mi esposa. Una acción en pasado. ¿Ok? Uh -huh. Algo que intenté uh -huh. hacer, pero no pude. ¿Ok? Entonces, ahí el, el Q está haciendo una acción en pasado. Ahora bien, uh -huh. si yo digo, I couldn't explain the situation to my wife. It's difficult. To me. Ah, es difícil para mí. Ahora bien, la connotación cambia. ¿Por qué? Porque acá ya no estamos hablando de una acción en pasado, sino que ya no es, no pude explicar la situación a mi esposa, sino no podría explicar la situación a mi esposa. 
You see? Ah, Algo que estoy uh -huh. intentando hacer, pero no puedo o no he podido. ¿Ok? Entonces acá uh -huh. ya es básicamente una posibilidad de algo que quiero hacer, pero que no puedo todavía. ¿Ok? Ok. okay. Entonces esas son las dos formas eh, en, en las que podemos usar el Q plus not. O sea, el Q y not ya para formar negativos. No pude o okay. no podría. Ajá. Entonces esas son las dos formas. No sé si todavía tenemos alguna duda con relación acá. No, teacher. Ya, ya me quedó más claro. Uh -huh. Ah, ok. Very good. So, uh -huh. that case, that's the way. Bien. Entonces, con los demás temas estamos bien. Sí, teacher. Estamos bien. Ah, ok, good. ¿Y la uh -huh. plataforma cómo vamos? Bien, solo la de hoy. Voy al día. Uh -huh. Ah, perfecto, perfecto. Sí. Ah, qué bien, entonces. Bueno, perfecto. Entonces, si no hay nada más que agregar, y nos vemos mañana entonces, vamos, ¿ok? Ok, teacher. All right. Have a wonderful night, ¿ok? Bye, bye. Thank you. Bye, bye. Ok, bye.